I guess Kevin Samuels is trying something new. So he brought two women onto his show to discuss why they don't feel it's important to actively seek out a man. But this just says that he's trying to reverse the male-female roles because men are hunters. They're supposed to level up in their manhood, then they hunt or seek out a woman. But Kevin keeps trying to steer the women in the direction of doing the hunting. The conversation Kevin is having with these women is so ridiculous. But he is sitting in his feminine and he wants other men to do the same. It is not now and has never been a woman's role to hunt for men. It is the woman's role to rest in her feminine and attract men to her. Wild animals sometimes fight to the death over a female, and in the human animal, men are supposed to fight or compete with other men with their wealth, resources, and provisions. But Kevin Samuel's advice to women is that they're supposed to do the fighting and competing, and he has no idea how absurd his advice is. But anyways, I'm moving to it. Atlanta. Now, you know Atlanta is 17 to 1. Yeah, seventeen to one. Seventeen. So Telling me it would be harder out there. I don't want to hear that. Seventeen women. To seventeen, 17 to women to one man. Yeah, that's right. Seventeen women to one man. Straight. <laughs> Straight. Gay. Whatever. So of course he starts off by putting in their minds that there is a lack of eligible men, and he does this to put these women in a competitive state of mind. But these numbers may be correct only if black women limit themselves to black men. If they're open to dating other races of men, the chances will be greater for them to be in a relationship with men who are in higher positions, make more money, and yield more power. The fact of the matter is, see, I guess this ultimately what I'm saying is when, if you're serious about getting the outcome you want, here's my thing. When it comes to dating, why don't you ladies think about the math or the numbers? Well, just think about like what it is you want and the likelihood of getting it. Why? It's mm -hmm. because what you said earlier, we're, we're leading to dating. So. I know that. <laughs> You're saying why? I, I found out why. We, I've been lazy. I haven't been actively seeking for what I want until like very recently. So I know exactly what I want. Now, so, I gotta, <laughs> See, so have you ever thought that finding a man was going to be hard and it takes a lot of goddamn work? It does take a lot of work the more selective that you are. But did you think it was going to be hard? I did not think it was going to be hard. I'm like, oh, he'll come find me. Why? Why? Because men are supposed to be the hunters. But the majority of black men who listen to Kevin Samuels is made up of the working poor. They don't have the wealth or the resources, and they don't know how to compete for women. So Kevin is trying to convince women to reverse the roles. This should actually feel unnatural for men, but Kevin Samuels seems to feel very comfortable in this position. Why? What about you? Did you think finding anybody would be hard? For me, absolutely. I've always thought that, and I do think about the numbers, and that becomes kind of a... Why That's did, where fear starts playing in fact. When I know the numbers are scarce, especially being select, as selective as I am, I know that it's harder for me to find what I want. So then it's not about being lazy. It's just I just give up. Like, I don't need a man right now. Uh-huh. And then you only get older. Yeah. And then you get older because y'all ain't Danger already zone. in the what? Danger zone! 27 to 35. But uh, why didn't you think, okay, if you want, what kind of car do you drive? You have a car? Yeah, I have two cars. Right. All right, finding the kind of car you want, is it easy or hard? Finding the color, if you had the kind of money to buy the car you want, could you just go to the first car dealership and find it? No. It's Why not? not easy. Why? Because if it's exactly what you want, like I built my car. Oh. Okay. I can't build my man. <laughs> but, but, but the point is, you knew what you were looking for when you built your car. Exactly. But you had to get the money and the credit and everything else, and then you had to figure out what it is and decide, I'm not gonna just go to the dealership with a lot or the paper or whatever, it's better to build it. If you know that about finding a car, why do y'all think finding a man that's even more valuable is less, less, less complicated? Shouldn't he be having this conversation with men? Shouldn't he say to men, 
get your money right, get your credit together, then go find the car of your dreams. And using his analogy, he's telling the car to go drive around and look for an eligible man with good income and great credit. That's backwards. It's unnatural, and women aren't falling for it. See, what we're trying to understand, folks, is the difference between how men and women look at the dating market. We look at it completely different. Guys, we already know we look at it from a cost-benefit standpoint. And more in women, especially the more attractive women, look at it from an abundance standpoint. And when it comes right down to it, I don't think that works for you guys long term. Because you say it's hard to find somebody to, not hard to get somebody to approach you. It's hard to get the kind of buyers you want interested in buying. Yeah, approaching with purpose. Well, all right. Well, let's do it this way. If you were a car, how would you sell you to the kind of car, the driver you want? You got to be able to sell yourself for the buyer that you're looking for. Well, do you guys do that, though? Sometimes, no. If you want a market who is men to buy you, you've got to actively sell yourself to the kind and caliber of market you want. you got to make it inviting. When you went to buy your car, they make it easy for you to do business or they treat you badly? No, they treat you nice when you show interest. <gasps> oh, okay. All right, all right. So you mean you came in and they didn't say, why are you here? Did they smile at you? They had a product to sell. You were a buyer. When you came on the lot, they said, hey, how you doing? They were welcoming. They offered you something to drink and they did all that stuff. Do you treat the men you want like the car dealership treated you when you went to buy a car? No. Well, goddamn. No. Why not? I don't think I do. Go ahead. I don't think I do. You don't treat them, do you? Welcoming and nice. No, sometimes I don't because I have my reasons why I'm not, why, why? I don't, and I sh why? probably shouldn't. Why? So, why? Be, so what, what about the car dealership? You think everybody that walked into that dealership who showed interest in the car bought one? No. Exactly. So do they yeah. get to treat you like that because the last person didn't buy? I want to point out that Kevin Samuels himself doesn't know how to attract women. So how is he giving advice about dating? An eligible man who is always in the presence of beautiful women would know how to treat a woman and would show a greater semblance of masculinity. If you notice, he got up, got himself a drink, and it never crossed his mind to offer his guests a drink. After all, he did invite them to his space. I'm sure that the only drinks he has available are those nasty energy drinks that he can't go an hour without drinking. But you would think that he would at least have some wine or some other refreshing drink to offer his guests. High value wear. This oversight says that he is never in the presence of beautiful women, he is not high value, and he has the same mindset of a dusty black man in a suit. You guys got to start thinking about men as car as buyers. Does it make more sense that way? I mean, <laughs> I mean does it make sense? She, you're over here laughing. You don't say, <laughs> say what you I just bought my car, so this is a very buyer, recent. So. Huh? This is a very recent experience for me. We are buying you. We're buying you. We are buying you. Now, 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 that's. Uh, now, now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, what, well, what's it? Okay. <laughs> we're buying you, like. No, okay. I, I understand, the analogy, though, I understand though, the analogy, though. When you go on a job interview, though, when you're interviewing for, like, a job, and you know how they say, like, in interviewing one-on-one, -on -one, you have to sell yourself to that company, so it's mm -hmm. like that. Like, yeah. Just, yeah, just but like do that. you sell yourself to the men? I mean, have you ever really went after a job you wanted, and you followed up with emails and phone calls and all that kind of stuff? Absolutely. Okay. Have you do ever done I that with a man? Up with guys, sometimes I do, but you know, nope. I want them to. <laughs> so, okay, so, I want them to so follow you want, show just as much pressure so you, as I am. So you want men to pursue you, but then you pursue what you want. I, I will pursue them back. Back. Not too much. Back. Like, right. It's bullshit. Women control access to relationships. Men control access to marriage. The black community has a low rate of marriage because there are not enough eligible black men who can comfortably care for a wife and a family. But instead of increasing the number of eligible black men, 
Kevin Samuels is trying to convince black women that it's better to be with a low earning man than to be by yourself. But many black women are starting to realize that dating out is an option and choosing not to be in a relationship with a black man is also an option. So Kevin Samuels needs to come up with a different message because as you can see, this message is not working. The Black Manosphere had a meeting in Atlanta the beginning of December, and this is a sample of the men who Kevin Samuels wants you to compete for. When black women go on Kevin Samuels' platform and tell him your age, your height, your weight, your marital status, the number of children you have, and all of your personal information, these are the men who are watching and commenting, insulting, and degrading you. Kevin Samuels is a smokescreen of lies and he's trying to portray his followers as high value, which they are not. So scan the room and pick out the men you would want to approach you for a date. A separate video is coming soon and I'm giving my commentary on their meetup. But black women need to see the men who Kevin Samuels is describing as high value and who he says black women need to submit to and compete for.